fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. Western United States, no one could match the cleverness and courage of the Black Caballero. On two occasions, he met and was beaten by the Lone Ranger, but he refused to accept defeat at the hands of the great champion of justice, and a third meeting followed, a meeting destined to end the duel between the two men once and for all. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young, and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're on the trail of the Black Caballero! Hi, Silver! Away! The Black Caballero was confined to the jail in White Springs awaiting trial, but he had already made plans for his escape. Sharing his cell was the former Sheriff Ramsey, and as our story begins, the outlaw is standing at the barred window of the cell. He turns to his companion and says, Can you see the sheriff? Wait a second. Yeah, I just saw him move. Must be at his desk. Why, well, Steve, the deputy. He's there, too, most likely. I don't see him, but I heard Carlson say something to him a while back. Say, when's that once you was going to go into action? As soon as he's dark enough. Is that already? We'll be making that play any minute now. Hawking charge? He and Blaze. They come here with Dirk when the fight at the cafe gets rid of Steve and the sheriff. I don't know who they chose in the stage the fight. The men who aren't known in town, though. Uh-huh. Look, boss. Well? When we get out, when we clear a town and back with the boys in camp, you're going to forget about the Lone Ranger, ain't you? Forget? I mean, you ain't planning to hunt him out again, are you? Now, it ain't that I'm hankering to buddy on your business. But what I see is, why go out of your way looking for trouble? That mask full has been pisin' to you twice already. Stay clear of him. Shucks, boss. Look at all the cash that's to be had. With you to give the orders, we can just about have things our own way in this territory. But if you're going to get that fella after us again, it's likely to spile everything. Are you telling me what to do? Oh, now, don't go taking it like that. The Lone Ranger's beaten me twice. But what of it? That's nothing to be ashamed of. You ain't the only one he's got the best of. Well, the first time he won, it was my fault. I underestimated him. Sure, but... Quiet. The second time, he outwitted one of my men. I was led to act on false information. The feller's savvy, that. They ain't blaming you. But the third time I'm... Uh, the third time? Doggone, you are fixing to look him up. I am. But it just don't make sense, boss. If you like keeping yourself in hot water, that's up to you. But how about the rest of us? Why risk our necks? This time, you and the others won't enter into it. I'll face the Lone Ranger alone. Sounds as if you already got something in mind. <laughs> Perhaps. You're the stubbornest, hombre. What are you planning to do? First, I must find the Lone Ranger. Oh, I thought you had a message that Pedro located him again. Ain't he supposed to be still in the county? We see. And when you find him... I have an offer to make him. What do you mean, an offer? You're going to... That's it. Hey, 
That should send the sheriff Chief, jumping. Roger, Roger. This is Rucker. Sound of the cafe. I'm with you, Sheriff. They cleared out. Oh, where's Hawk? Where's Blaze and Dirk? Shucks, they got to give the sheriff and Steve a chance to get away, don't they? They'll have to act fast. Who's that? Who came in the office? It's them, boss. This way, fellas. Hurry it up. We got here, boss. Get to work on those bars. Thank you. We'll have to smash them. Get back. Right. You won't be able to break them out. We'll just bend them. Want a hand, Blaze? <laughs> I'll get him. Get a move on. We want out of here. The sheriff will be back before you know it. There, Hawk. The crowbar. Here you are. Now then, together. Spread the bar just a little more. We're getting it. I think that's enough. Well, see if you can get through. You first, Ramsey. <laughs> if you can make it, I can. It's a tight squeeze. Come on. Yeah. Hurry, boss. Lead the way. Out the front, the horses are waiting. The Diablo? He's there too, boss. There he is. No sight of the sheriff yet. We told the boys to make the fight a good one. Into your saddles. Yeah. Yeah. I hate Diablo. Yeah. They've seen us. Come on, get up. Get up. Get up. On, Diablo. On. We ride to find the Lone Ranger. On, Diablo. <laughs> White Springs was thrown into an uproar by the daring escape of the Black Caballero, but the posse, assembled by Sheriff Carlson, failed to recapture the outlaw. The following day, Tonto, the loyal Indian companion of the Lone Ranger, was approached in town by a roughly dressed man who hastily handed him an envelope addressed to the Lone Ranger, then as hastily departed. Tonto lost no time delivering the message to his masked friend at their well-hidden camp, and when the Lone Ranger read it, he couldn't hide his surprise. Tonto, do you know who sent this? Tell her not tell, Tonto. The black caballero. Oh? Huh? What him say? He wants to come to our camp, Kimosabe. Why him want do that? He gives no reason. He's written only that if we signal him, he'll ride here alone and unarmed. The signal will be taken as a promise that we'll make no effort to capture him while here. What signal? He seems to know the direction of our camp, Tonto. He'll be watching for a smoke signal. That heap strange. I wonder what his purpose is. He's got something in mind. Maybe a trap. Maybe other outlaw, sea smoke, raid camp. He says not. He gives his word his men will not be told of this, and there will be no attack. Him crook? Yes, Kimasabi, but he's not like any other outlaw we've ever met. I think I could take his word, even though he's an outlaw, above that of most men we know. I've learned to respect the man, Tonto. We're on opposite sides, and yet, strangely enough, I trust him. Maybe one day him turn on us. I'm afraid he never will. There are two kinds of outlaws, Tonto. One steals because he thinks it's the easiest way to get what he wants. When he's taught that he's really chosen the hardest way, he can be reformed. Uh, but the other breaks the law simply because something in him forces him to go against authority. He's not interested in the gain. It's a risk. It's in his nature. He can't help it. And I believe the black caballero is that kind. Maybe you're right. What you do, huh? I don't like the idea of letting him go free. After all, he's wanted by the law. Uh, On the other hand, we don't know where he is. If he shows us, it'll be voluntary. And he hasn't asked us to promise that we'll never search for him again. That's right. And we can't show him the signal, permit him to come here, and then break our promise by seizing him. He knows our word can be trusted. Ah. Help me gather some wood, Tonto. We're going to signal him at once. In a few minutes, a thick, billowing pillar of smoke rose into the air above the masked man's camp. From time to time, the fire was replenished, until in the distance there was heard the call of the Black Caballero. Oh! Tonto, let the fire go. He's coming. Oh, trying to see him. That's a fine horse he's got. It go heap fast. Plenty strong, too. Hello there. Hello. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Dismount. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trusting you not to attempt to take me prisoner. You'll be safe while in our camp. And until you've had a good start when you leave. After that, I promise nothing. An hour start? Agreed. I, uh... Suppose you wonder why I asked for this meeting. You've got a purpose, of course. I have. I mean to tell you frankly, I believe you've been lucky. Lucky? I mean, in uh, two former meetings. You sent me to jail twice. <laughs> As you see, I'm out again. You'll return. I wonder. At least I promise you this. Tonto and I shall not leave this territory until we see you behind bars again. And not the bars of a county jail. I've got too much respect for your ability. You'll go to the state prison. <laughs> if I believe that, I should not be here. We're wasting time. The business, huh? Well, Lone Ranger, while I'm in the mood for frankness, I'd like to say that in spite of your luck, I'm still confident I'm the better man. Well? And I'm just confident enough to put it to the test. Go on. If uh, you're agreeable, of course. 
Uh, listen, at least. This will be man against man. The Lone Ranger against the Black Caballero. And Silver against El Diablo. <laughs> I'm rather proud of El Diablo, you know. I think he could show his heels to Silver. And the test? As an afternoon stage to Whitfield. I know. Of course, since you got my good friend Ramsey out of office, I have any sources of information in hand I had before. The stage occasionally carries gold shipments. I'm afraid I'll have to take my chances on that. If there's gold aboard to pay me for my trouble, so much the better. Otherwise, I'll take whatever offers. You're telling me you plan to rob the Whitfield stage? That's a test. You'll have to be more clear. You're acquainted with the stage route? I am. And of course, you know the flats beyond the bridge crossing Buffalo Creek. I do. Very well. One afternoon, I shall hold up the stage as it crosses the flats. If you can prevent me or capture me afterwards, I shall confess you've beaten me fairly. If you don't, <laughs> and you won't, of course, I shall have had proof of what I suspected for a long time, that it really was luck which aided you before. I have only to see that the stage is warned. It wouldn't matter, would it? What can they do? If they send extra guards, I shall simply wait until they get tired of it. Extra guards can't be sent forever. And what if I'm laying in wait for you? Where? There's no cover once you cross the bridge. If you have crossed the bridge, well, I can always wait one more day. You're a strange fellow. Because I tell you I should hold up the stage. Didn't I tell you once I would rob the River City Bank? I even told you the day. And didn't succeed. I was uh, unfortunate. You know that if I do capture you, you'll go to jail. The game's worth the cost. you never seen me beg off when we met before, have you? You haven't. But as I said, I'd not be here if I expected to be caught. <laughs> a good gallop, yeah. But caught? Oh, no. You're clever. You've offered a test I can't refuse. <laughs> I thought of that. You know, if I refused, I'd still have to try to keep the stage from being robbed. And you could still put off the robbery if you saw me near the stage. Right. And I'll accept on one condition. Yes? I'll strike a bargain with you. Give me your word, there'll be no gunplay, and I'll promise not to forewarn the stage. I'm not sure I understand. If I warned the stage, at least a special guard would be sent. Someone who would show fight and probably get shot for his trouble. If the stage isn't warned, I think the appearance of the Black Caballero would be enough to make the regular guard surrender, and no one will be hurt. It's a bargain. This time I say nothing about the day I shall choose to strike. If you aren't prepared... So much the worse for you and the stay. I still don't see your purpose in this. <laughs> oh, my friend, you've defeated me twice. I have a certain amount of pride. I shall never be completely happy again until I've taught you that where the odds are even, I am your master. <laughs> Steady, Diablo. Yep. Very well. I may strike tomorrow or a month from tomorrow, but you can depend on it. I shall strike. Adios. And we'll meet again in the flats beyond Buffalo Creek. On Diablo! Oh! Him take big chance. He doesn't think so, Tonto. He's got perfect faith in that horse of his to outrun Silver. Silver beat Diablo. I'll back Silver any time. I've got an idea, however, that El Diablo will give him one of the hardest races he's ever had. Maybe. There's been a lot of talk in the district about the two horses, Tonto. This should prove once and for all which is the better. I'm glad Silver will have the opportunity to prove himself. And him do it. And the Black Caballero's visit proves the truth of what I said before. It's danger he enjoys, and the thought he can handle anyone he meets. He'll never be satisfied until he's made it clear that our success against him before wasn't deserved. Their thing counter not like. What's that, Kimasabi? Other outlaw. Maybe them try get you. You mean you suspect this is just a trick of the Black Caballero? Uh. We've already had proof we can depend on his word. Him keep word. Other outlaw hate you. His gang won't come into this. He'll see to that. Tonto not sure. You're worried about it. Uh. There's no reason. You let Tonto ride? Ride? Where? Follow trail, fella leave here. Find outlaw camp. Hear what them plan. To see if they're up to some trick in spite of their leader? Not right. Tonto, if you can follow the black caballero's trail, it's a good idea. I'm not worried about a trap. But this is the first chance we've had to locate their hideout. Before we finish, we want the entire gang rounded up. Uh. You find the hideout, meet me here. I'll be in camp each day, except at the time the stage crosses the flats. Oh, no. Tonto, go now? Not yet, Tonto. We promised him an hour's start. Then you can take up the trail. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Blaze, Hawk, and Ramsey, outlaws who followed the Black Caballero, were dissatisfied with their leader's plan. Although they said little to him, they gathered at the edge of their camp when the evening meal was finished and discussed the situation with... The crazy loco idiot. That doggone conceit of his. I tell you, fellas, it's going to get us all in trouble. That Lone Ranger ain't to be monkeyed with. I'd just as soon throw up a cage full of wildcats as to dare him to take after me. The boss said we was to stay out of this. What's he going to do to us if we don't? Well, after it's done, he'll have to take it and like it. Besides, all that's really bothering him is his being caught in jail that last time. He figures it was Pedro's fault. He's got the notion if we're along to help him again, maybe something will go wrong another time on account of us. Nope, we don't need to let the bosses get mad, stop us. He won't, not unless we mess up. Well, what's the scheme? The masked fella can't watch a trail through the flats from anywhere but the woods this side of the creek. Why not? It's the only cover there is. Yeah, that's right. All right, then. When he sees a stage stop for the boss, that means you'll have to cross the bridge to go after him. Then what? Then we'll be hiding below the bank of the creek where he won't see us. We'll have blasting powder under the bridge, all ready and waiting. When the masked fella hits the bridge, we light the fuse. <laughs> and there'll be one less fella to get in our way. Doggone, that sounds all right. Only how are we going to get to the bridge, fix the blasting powder and everything without being seen? Get there early, that's all. The masked fella ain't going to be around except when the stages do. Well, are you fellas with me or not? There's nothing I'd like better than to see that hombre get blowing sky high. You can count me in. Good. How about you, Blaze? Sure, I'll join you. But there's something I've been wondering about. Yeah? What goes for the masked fella goes to the boss, too, don't it? I mean, if the masked fella has to stay on this side of the creek to keep undercover, why don't the boss? <laughs> I'll bet that's something that's puzzling the masked fella, too. Well, where's the boss going to hide till the stage comes along? Right inside the stage. Huh? Well, there ain't no place anybody could hide on that stage without the driver knowing it. <laughs> it's one of the slickest schemes the boss ever thought of. He ain't never been seen over to Leeville where the stage starts out. Not without that black mask and cape of his, anyhow. He's going to get in the stage like a regular passenger. Then when they get to the flats... Put on his mask and show the driver his guns. Golly, that's a good one. What's he going to do with El Diablo? We'll keep him with us. When we see the stage stopping, we'll send him along the trail. <laughs> and the Lone Ranger won't know the stage is held up till it's all over and the boss is hightailing away. <laughs> that beats the best I ever heard. <laughs> then with a blasting powder set. What? Oh, hey, Come on. Was that engine part of the mask, fellas? But I plugged him. Here? Give me a hand. If he ain't done for, we'll tie him up. Tonto's absence overnight and the following morning did not alarm the Lone Ranger. He assumed that the faithful Indian was still following the Black Caballero's trail and accordingly went ahead with his own plans to be on hand if the outlaw struck at the stage. But even as he saddled Silver and made ready to ride toward Buffalo Creek, Hawk and his companions were approaching the same destination. Tonto, his hands bound behind him and the wound he'd received bandaged, was with them and... Hawk, you sure as today the boss is holding up the stage? Heard him say so, didn't I? And why else would he have got such an early start this morning? So he could make it to Leeville in time. There's the bridge just ahead. Cut over this way. Send the horses down the bank here. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. 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 Takes a tumble, it ain't hurting us none. Well, he, he get down all right. We can't leave the horses here, they'll be seen. Bring El Diablo with us. Get the powder and fuse out, then move them down below there. See them cottonwoods? The bank rises just there. Nobody will see the rest of the horses unless they're in line with a river. Yeah. Get in the powder, Blaze? I got it. Here's the fuse. <laughs> Engine, come along and watch us get things fixed. <laughs> if you behave yourself, maybe we'll even let you light the fuse when it's time to set it off. <laughs> The Lone Ranger, unaware that the outlaws were crouched behind the cover afforded by the bank of Buffalo Creek, took his position in the woods nearby from which he could command a clear view of the trail. In the meantime, the Whitfield stage bounced over the trail and started across the flats without either the driver or guard realizing that their seemingly innocent passenger was a notorious black caballero. Get up! Get along there! Well, Elijah, we crossed the flats and the creek up ahead, and it ain't but ten miles to... Up with your hands, guard! Who? Driver, riding with horses. Black mask. That cape. The black caballero. <laughs> Rain up or stop, lad. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Whoa, there. Whoa. Whoa, back. Good. You see 
see that white horse breaking from the woods across the creek? Yeah, I can make it out. And a black horse coming up the trail? El Diablo. Yes. Now throw down what cash the stage is carrying before that white horse reaches the bridge, or you'll never live to tell that you met the black caballero. The outlaw sent El Diablo down the trail toward his master. Then they saw the Lone Ranger burst from the woods and send Silver racing toward the bridge. As he came closer, they heard him shout to Silver. Come on, Silver! It's him! Look at that horse trap! Where's your matches, Blaze? Get one lit. Hold it ready when I give the word, light that fuse. Right. You not light fuse. Keep your mouth shut, Redskin. You watching me, Blaze? I'll give the signal. Don't you start that fuse burning until I say so. Here he comes. Come on, Silver! Come on! Wait. Ain't it time? One second. Now. There she is. Keep your heads down. Hurry, old boy. Get back. No, no. Reach, blow up. Get back. Oh, Silver. Back, old boy. Back, back. Last two engine. Oh, Watch out. Duck. Oh, the masked man got away. And look, he's seen our horses. He's heading for the horses. Heading for the horses. Come on, come on. Let's get after him. Come on. Don't let him scatter those horses. Come on, boy. Don't let him scatter those horses. Come on. Come on, old fellow, to those top woods, old boy. Here we are, Silver. Old boy, over there. We'll scatter these horses, Silver, and leave those fellows afoot. Making every move count, the masked man swiftly loosened the reins of the outlaw's horses and sent them galloping away. Away with you! Get on there! Get going! second was wasted. The Lone Ranger leaped to the saddle again, whirled Silver about, sent him charging toward the outlaws, who, too startled at first to act, now caught at their holsters. Throw down your guns! Throw them down to take the consequences! Blast him out of the saddle, fellas! I warned you! Hold my hand! Keep fire! We... Ow! The engine's tripped me! Oh, Silver! Oh, oh boy! Up with your hands! You smash my hand! You're not hurt! Don't shoot! You're wounded, Tuttle. And yet you tripped this fellow up. Let me fix him. I'll cut these ropes. Can you hold these men like it back? Uh, Does your wound bother you too much? Uh, Tonto, hold them. You get other outlaws. Right. If, if they make a move, shoot to kill. Come on, Silver! We're boarding the creek, boy! Come on! The masked man had not paused from the time he had first heard Tonto's desperately shouted warning. Now he sent Silver headlong through Buffalo Creek. Then away over the level flats, past the stage he raced, pointing Silver's head toward the distant rider, whose black cape streamed back from his shoulders as his great black stallion fled over the prairie. Hurry, Silver! Hurry! You can outrun Diablo! Now's your chance to prove it, old boy! Come on, Silver! And yet mile after mile sped by, while the margin between Silver and El Diablo seemed never to change. The black horse in the lead answered his master's call with every ounce of strength he could summon. Oh, Diablo! Oh. Behind him, Silver thundered with all his matchless power. The muscles beneath his shining coat rippled and flowed, scarcely revealing the relentless effort that went into every stride. He knew the object of their chase, as well as his master, and before admitting defeat, was prepared to run his heart out. I think we're gaining, old fellow. Come on, Silver! No horse in the world could have withstood that tireless pursuit. El Diablo, holding his own at first, began gradually to let the space between him and Silver shorten. The tattoo of Silver's hoof grew always louder. The Lone Ranger's shout came more plain to the ears of the Black Caballero. There was at last no further motive for spurring the tiring Black Stallion forward. The Black Caballero drew up and... Oh, Diablo! Oh, oh, oh! oh. That way, oh, 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 Silver! Oh, oh, more. oh Silver! The game is up, Lone Ranger. I... I'm your prisoner. Your horse has it the strength to carry you back to the creek? <laughs> He's tired, Lone Ranger. <laughs> He's tired as I am. And up on Silver with you. <laughs> we lead El Diablo. Matano's waiting. We've got to get back. Come on, Silver. This 
was a dejected group of men who watched the return of the Lone Ranger and the Black Caballero to Buffalo Creek. Once more, the masked man sent Silver through the stream, El Diablo following, then slowed the great white horse to a halt on the other side. Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh. Out of the saddle. All right. Yes? These, these men, I, I heard the blast. I saw the bridge blown up. I want you to believe it was none of my doing. Him tell truth. Other fella try kill you. Him not know. I understand. And they'll pay for this along with the other crimes they've committed. What are you going to do with this? I've told you, leader, what would happen this time. The county jail won't hold you, but the state prison will. You Ramsey, Ramsey. quiet. But he just... I said keep still. <laughs> Lone Ranger, I, I said that twice you were fortunate to beat me. <laughs> well, perhaps you were. Now, <laughs> I'm not so sure, but... It doesn't matter. <laughs> you won again. In this time, there's no question. I lost. And on my own terms. And for the first time, I'm almost sorry that I've won. <laughs> sorry? I said the game was worth the price. It is. <laughs> Lone Ranger, you've brought me the bill. And now, I'll pay. <laughs> The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.